18 and Seshi Omar from Elite Martial Arts. I hope you guys are ready and excited for today's class. Today is strike testing, or this week is strike testing, and we're getting ready for graduation. So don't forget, if you have not registered for graduation yet, please make sure that you do that. Uh, we're going to have the belt set up here for your parents to come pick it up, and uh, that way we can have an awesome uh, graduation ceremony. I have an amazing plan for that day. It's going to be a lot of fun, really exciting, and I can't wait to see you guys there. So this week is going to be uh, strike testing on our live classes on Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to be doing our live strike test just to make sure that you're staying consistent and uh, you can even earn your strike and be prepared for graduation. Today's video and on uh, Wednesday's video, we're going to use as just your, 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 your homework, what you need to practice for strike test in order to, uh, to have a successful test. Uh, let's make sure that we're training hard, let's make sure that we're practicing, and I would, if, if it were me, I would do this video multiple times just to make sure that you have everything that you need for graduation. So let's get started. Let's snap, bow, and let's start with our sitting creep. Ready, sit. I must develop myself in a positive manner and stay away from things that are bad for my mind and my body. So, ready, sit. I must develop self-discipline and do what's right without anyone telling me to. So, ready, sit. I must use common sense before self-defense and never, ever hurt others. Ready, fans? This is a black belt school. Today and every day, I'll do my best, sir. All right, let's warm up nice and easy with 50 black belt jumping jacks. Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one. Only beat you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Sir. Now it's really important that we build a habit with all of our technique finishing strong, right? That's why we always say last one, best one. Think about it like this. If you're doing your homework and you're getting to the last question, that's not when you take a break. That's when you really push and you complete your homework. If your parents are running a marathon and you see the ending, that's not when you slow down. That's when you speed up. If you're climbing up a mountain, same thing. You speed up towards the end. So at the end, I really want you guys to finish strong and, uh, and, and really push through it. So let's do 10 more and let's finish strong like black belts. With me. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, hands up, back straight, squats with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20. Perfect, guys. Time for push ups. We're right here. Let's do 10 shoulder taps. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sit back. Stretch out your arms. 10 more. Go for it. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Sit back. Stretch your arms. Perfect. Very nice. Now. 10 mountain climbers. We're here. One knee to your chest. You're going to switch your feet. Ready? And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Excellent, guys. So nice and strong. Last one. 10 more of those. If you're a BBT Little Dragon, instead of those, I'm going to see 10 push ups. So I'm going to do the push ups. Everybody else, uh, basic little dragons, you're going to do your mountain climbers. So we're here. 10 with me. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Stand up on your feet. Make sure your uniform looks sharp. And let's set. Good. So that was our warm up. All right. The next part of our strike test. The next thing that I need you to know is all of your basic strikes. So we're reviewing our straight punches. 
our palm heel strikes, our spear hand strikes, those three main strikes. Let's do it. Let's do 10 straight punches. When we're doing these punches, number one, they're called straight punches. So they need to be straight. Tell me which punch is straight. One, two, or three. What was the third one? We all know how to do this. Moving our arms straight out, straight back. Straight out from, from chamber and pulling the other hand to chamber. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see if you can do it. That's your mission. Straightest punch as possible. One, two, three, four. It's okay to go slow so we get our straight line and then add a little bit more speed and power and then get it super straight. Let's see if you can do it. Give me 10 all by yourself. When you're done, get nice and strong. Go. Now let's do our spear hand strikes. When we're doing our spear hand strike, the number one detail I'm looking for is laser-like focus, keeping your eyes straight forward while maintaining that straight line. You want laser-like focus the whole time. Show me your roll of your face. Ten of those. Again, when you're done, snap nice and strong. Keep your back straight. Go for it. Go. Now, when you're doing these strikes, these straight punches or spear hand strikes, the way that I want you to do it, in order for you to earn your strike and get credit for tomorrow's strike test, your parents are gonna either record or however, or just give me the thumbs up that you did it like this. You do your 10 strikes. One, two, three, four, flip tight side else. Five, yeah, six, yeah, seven, yeah, eight, yeah, nine, yeah, 10, yeah, and you snap, you say, done, sir. And your job is to hold it here for three seconds. One. Two, three, then you go to a ready stance. Just like if you were in a regular fast setting. Remember, the number one thing in martial arts is the structure and the culture of martial arts. So it's really important that we train like a martial artist. If we train like a black belt, then one day we'll be a black belt. But if we don't train like a black belt, this is gonna take a little bit longer. So let's make sure right now, we're really, really turning into a mini black belt. How would a black belt snap? How would a black belt punch? How would they sound? That's what I'm looking for. Record it, send it to me. And I can't wait to see that and give you a big virtual thumbs up. Last one is palm heel strikes. When you're doing your palm heel strike, this is what I want all of your power. Palm heel strikes, even though it's a high five, it's really one of your most powerful and effective strikes that you can do in a, in a harmful situation. Right? If there's a bully that's trying to get you, you can use your hands to push them away and get great space. You can go for it in the nose and make the eyes water and then really run away so that way they can't see you. So when you're doing your palm heel strikes, I want all of your power. You're pulling this hand back, you're pushing this hand out. Every time you do your palm heel strike, I want you to imagine yourself going through like four boards. I think you can do it. So you're here, just like this. One, two, ten of those, and we're done. Snap, say, done, sir. And look as strong as you can. Go for it. Go! Perfect, now let's move on to our basic kicks. So you're gonna have your hands up, front foot tight in trigger position, this is a kicking stance. Remember when you're in trigger position, your heel is off the floor, kind of like you're you know, wearing your mom's high heels. This hand is up, both hands are up, your back is totally straight, and you look ready to kick. From here, I wanna see snapping front kicks. So first motion of your kick, remember as your knee comes up. If I see this, it's wrong. That's a leg raise, not a front kick. I wanna see a front kick, so remember when I do a front kick, First things first, my knee bends. Second thing, my foot goes out. Third thing, my foot comes back. It's three motions. One, two, three. I think you can do it, and I think you can make it look better than mine. Let's see if we can do it. Get ready. Try to beat me, and remember those three steps. Don't do this. That looks silly. Do this. Get ready, and one, two, three. Let's see you practice 10 of those. Go.
Perfect. Now let's do 10 more on the other side. Remember, hands up, back straight, front foot in trigger position. Watch this kick. Now watch this kick. Which one looks better? Obviously the first one, because my hands were here. If my hands are like this, it's a distracting. You might have the best kick in the world, but if I'm doing this, this is distracting. I could be telling you the most intense, awesome story, could be the best story ever, but if while I'm telling you the story, I'm doing all of this at the same time, or there's like a bug on my face, it's gonna be distracting. You won't be able to pay attention to how awesome the story is. So same thing with your kick. If your kick is really, really awesome, and you're moving your hands all over the place, I'm not gonna be able to tell that you have a good kick. Nobody will know, because you're distracting them. So it's important that you keep your hands glued to your face. Not only to keep you safe, but also to make the kick look better. So we're here, boom. 10 of those, go. Awesome, now let's see your star block set. And have both arms out, back straight, star block set with me. Up, in, out, touch, down, back, push down. Count to 10, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, sir, set. Bow, excellent guys. Hands in chamber, Xbox with me. One, back, two, Back. Let's hear a nice side yell. Three. Yeah. Back. Four. Yeah. Back. Remember. Yes, sir. Five. Yeah. Back. Yes, sir. Six. Yeah. Back. Yes, sir. Seven. Yeah. Back. Yes, sir. Eight. Yeah. Back. Yes, sir. Nine. Yeah. Back. Yes, sir. And ten. Yeah. Back. Yes, sir. I think I beat you. If I beat you, I want you to do it over. And this time I want you to beat that shoe so bad that you have to take my belt. Good luck. Go. All right. Last main thing that we're going to be reviewing for your strike test is your form. Remember, forms are based on whatever class you're in. So if you're in the basic Little Dragons class, you're currently doing Dragon number one. If you're in the BBT Little Dragons class, you're doing Dragon number four. So just follow along appropriately. I'm going to do it facing the other way. That way you can really follow along with me and make sure the sides and everything are correct. Let's really, really focus on having good technique team. So watch me. I'm here. I started my ready stance. This is dragon number one. Dragon number one, sir. Chamber. X lock. Guard stance. Back fist. Punch. Front kick. Touch. Low block. Down on the knee. Punch. Punch. And high heel strike to finish. Yeah. You finish, elite, future, back up, sir. This is dragon number four. Raise hands. Dragon number four, sir. Chamber, X lock, guard stance, back fist, punch, double front kick, grab, grab, high block, low block, down on the knee, punch, punch, upward elbow strike. Yeah! And finish. Elite. Future. Go. Sir. Great job, guys. So, those are the main things that I want you to practice for your stripe test. Obviously, during stripe testing and graduation, we'll throw out some other moves just to, uh, to, <laughs> to help you guys show off a little bit. Make sure that you guys practice everything that we covered in this video today. That way, you can have a successful stripe test and graduation. I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget, like I said before, if you have not registered for graduation yet, make sure that you do it. That way we can uh, keep your belts ready for you and we can have an awesome time. I'll see you guys soon. Great job today. Let's snap, bow, and hands on the camera. Right here, on three, you're gonna pull away and say EMA. Ready, one, two, three, EMA. Good job, team.